Even if the doors of long-term care are slowly opening back up, it's been a tough year for seniors who've had to live extremely isolated from loved ones. And one foundation is trying to big, bring some joy back in the form of a small pet's affection. Veronica Cooper explains how you can give a smile. How's everybody doing? No, they're not real, but thanks to technology, these stuffed pets are incredibly lifelike. They have sensors, like they'll do different things when you touch different parts of their, their body. The, the cats, they purr and you can feel the purring as you pet them. And imagine the joy for a senior in long-term care to have one of these companion pets. Working with local therapists, we've identified 225 people right now that could really benefit from this technology. We're asking for the public's help to raise money to, to buy these animals to place with the seniors. The Companion Pets Project is spearheaded by the Elder Care Foundation. The Elder Care Foundation is a registered charity and we raise funds to improve quality of life and care for our community seniors. All of those things that the government health care budget just can't afford to do. All the entertainment, the therapy activities, exercise programs, and Qigong and yoga. And during COVID, all the devices that have allowed families to have virtual visits with their loved ones. Because it's been a pretty lonely time behind the four walls if you live in long-term care over this past year. It's been very, very, very difficult. The pup is $200. Uh, our cat is 175 and the kitten is 120 But any tax-deductible donation will help. Any donation makes a big difference uh, and the impact has just been tremendous. That's what the Elder Care Foundation raises funds for because that's really what increases that quality of life. Learn more at gvef.org. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.